Okay, I'm back again with another video. Um, today, what I am working on, you're noticing the engine bay is a little ripped apart. This is the stock throttle body unit from my Saturn 1.9 liter. All right, as I move in, what you're gonna see, this is the throttle body unit off of a Geo Storm 1.6 liter single overhead cam engine. And looking at the two, let's see that actually because this is the top you can see there are some differences uh, you will be rerouting your wiring uh, what i'm doing right now is a test as you can see this wire is stretched for the idle air control valve to its max all right i do have slack left in the throttle position sensor that's no big deal and you'll notice the throttle moves opposite direction all right i don't have the throttle cable hooked up um, for the purposes of this video, all right, under here you got your fuel pressure regulator. All right, the fuel pressure regulator operates through this little hole, which is, as you can see, behind the throttle body. That is a full manifold vacuum signal. So you will need to fabricate a way to pull full manifold vacuum to your fuel pressure regulator to prevent possible engine damage. Uh, I just went and bought some stuff and threw it together from AutoZone. If you're good at fabricating, I even busted the harness there. But as you can see, this is solid in place. It's not hitting anything. The vacuum line is rubbing a little bit against power steering, but there's no heat there. I should be good. All right. Under here, you'll see I have the EVAP and the EGR from the old throttle body plugged off. Like I said, I am doing a test. The purge solenoid is back under the intake manifold where you can't see it. It will need to be routed into one of these ports as it is a ported vacuum signal indicated by one of these upper two holes. One of these was for the EGR on 91 to 94 Saturns. 95 and up uses only one of these two for the EVAP system. EVAP system only engages during cruise speeds. It is not engaged during idle and it is not engaged during acceleration. So let's see what we got. Let's see if we get any check engine codes. Now I disconnected the battery <clears throat> when I did this to clear all the codes and the parameters for the idle mixture. Because this throttle body is larger, and you'll see here, all right, as you can see, the stock Saturn inlet fits completely into the throttle body of the Geo Storm. And we got a nice, healthy, smooth running engine, but you will have to do an idle learn. Now, I'm not going to sit here and let it do the idle learn in the video because that takes about 30 minutes. An onboard diagnostics one idle learn, you have to idle the engine until the cooling fan kicks on and cools the engine to where it automatically kicks off by the ECM. You cannot hit the throttle at any time. You can't run any of your accessories. You just let it idle and the computer will calibrate the air fuel ratios for you. Since I am testing this, let's see what happens when I hit the throttle. Okay, and as you can see, I am now making enough low RPM torque out of this thing that I can actually rock the car in the driveway in park. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment. And as always, ingenuity. When you don't have the money to throw at it, you got to figure out how to do it. And thanks for watching.